Death, frozen in stone. These aren't just fossils, they're prehistoric crime scenes. First, a dinosaur versus a mammal. Deep inside a burrow, a Psittacosaurus lies trapped. But it's not alone. A badger-like creature, Repinomimus, has its jaws clamped around the dinosaur's ribs. Its tiny paws grip the dinosaur's leg and jaw. This wasn't a scavenger finding a free meal. The mammal was actively hunting a dinosaur three times its size when a volcanic mud flow buried them both mid-battle. A mammal hunting a dinosaur. Everything we thought we knew was wrong. Next, a team-up from hell. A massive shark, Squalacorax, attacks a much smaller pteranodon flying low over the water. Its teeth sink into the flying reptile's wing bone, leaving deep gouges, but the shark doesn't get its meal. The injured pteranodon falls into the water, where a Xiphacunus, a bulldog-faced fish the size of a car, swallows it whole. We know this because the pteranodon fossil was found perfectly preserved inside the Xiphacunus's stomach. But here's the twist. The Xiphacunus choked on its meal. Its final moments were a desperate failed attempt to swallow the winged reptile. Two predators, one victim, no survivors. Then, a death from above. A fish called Aspidorhynchus launches itself from the water. Its spear-like snout aimed at a small, long-necked pterosaur, Ramphorhynchus. It impales the flying creature through its wing membrane, a perfect, catastrophic strike. But the fish miscalculated. The pterosaur's wing fibers were too strong, tangling around the fish's snout. Trapped together, unable to break free, they both plunged into the depths and were fossilized in their fatal embrace. Now, for a famous rivalry, a velociraptor and a protosroctops locked in a mortal struggle. The velociraptor's killer claw is jammed deep into the protoserot's neck, aiming for the carotid artery. But the protoserot's has fought back. Its powerful beak has crushed the velociraptor's arm, trapping it. They were found just like this, locked together, likely buried by a collapsing sand dune while fighting to the death. But all of these pale in comparison to the most iconic matchup of all time. A Tyrannosaurus rex and a Triceratops, found buried together in what is now Montana. The T-Rex has teeth embedded in the Triceratops's frill. The Triceratops's horns are aimed right at the T-Rex's chest. They were found so intertwined, scientists call them the dueling dinosaurs. They died fighting, locked in combat for eternity. But the real mystery isn't how they died, it's who won. And the evidence points to a single, shocking conclusion. But that's a story for another time.